Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, from Rival Extreme here. Here we are looking at the two new updates by the DLC mods by Create Mesh, the Shaw Harvester Pack and the Emergency Pack. So first of all we're looking at the Emergency Pack. So Chainsaw 1.1 added Burning Car Scenario, added Trickish Translations, fixed real carts are attachable while entering, changed Pager Timer, sent Calculations, so, so yeah. We've got our little marker here, so... Nope, don't want that one. Fair enough, yeah, so... Yeah, so select the actual one we're looking for, so... Bear me a sec, whilst I get the correct scenario enabled. There we go, yeah, we have an emergency. A car fire has been reported by the police. We will mark the location for you, so... Here it is over here. Let's just grab our fire truck. So yeah, our car fire is over here. Don't worry. The fire brigade is here. So yeah, it needs to place traffic cones down, so So there we go, you need to change your hand tools on the D-pad, so place ease down. Just like so. Couple more over here. Oops. Ooh, that went flying. There we go. So now we need to extinguish the fire. Extinguish the fire and that. But yeah, that actually does a detail of it as well. Love the burning effects. And even on the PlayStation 4 last gen console. Yeah, okay, you get maybe minor frame rate drops, but. Overall, not too bad. I have had worse, so... But yeah, so now we're putting the fire out. But again, like with the bell fires that you can use this as a creative way of, you know, mounting a tractor on this and get very creative. Are we even actually putting the fire out? Ooh. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, see the more... Yeah. See the change in smoke now, so it shouldn't take too long to do. Oh yeah, that's one of those things. If you let's say stop now, the fire will re-merge now. We'll get worse again. Well, yeah, since I don't want to fancy doing that again, all you have to do is just simply keep on hose it, and there we go. Contract done. Only 317 we got there. Compared to things like, oh, what was it, the normal car accident where we had to recover someone, that I got almost two grand for, but saying that, for putting cones out and hosing down the car and that, it's not too bad. But yeah, so now that's done. Let me go and set up the shrew harvest and we'll have a look at that. So alright, I've got things set up here and yeah, shrew harvest has just had a massive update. Change Dog 1.1, add the snow and parallax oculation map to the placeables, added benefits to selling pellets at the pallet sand station, so that's this thing here, we'll have a look at that, because yeah, it's about time that's actually made worthy. And yeah, it's had various fixes, including fixed bell pulled in, thus unloaded on the bell collector. So, when you use using the bell collector before and that, with the bader and that, usually that middle bell will get sort of dragged backwards and that, but that's been fixed. Fixed bell collector will rotation catapult in effect. So, yeah, I've seen many clips of the bell collector being absolutely yeeted into the next county. Fixed display on bell grab capacity. Fixed chrome big pack bell collect configuration unfold warning. Fixed visual issues with the pellet hole. Fixed chrome big pack visual issues. Fixed hose clipping on bell grabs. Fixed missing information on pallets. Update translations. Improved pellet plant price balancing. So we'll have a look at that. Improved crane operation error for easier pallet grab. Improved pellet heat plant trip trigger. Remove non-active full text on bell grabs. And lastly, remove unfolding of Chrome Big Pack Bell Collect configuration. So, 
Tried to get snow on this map, but couldn't get snow. But anyways, we'll still look at the rest, so... First of all, let's look at the pellet prices, so... Go into our prices. So yeah, pellets should be somewhere near the bottom here. Nope, not those. So yeah, short pellets. Wow, hoo <laughs> Pretty much almost double the price, pretty much. Not exactly, but yeah, close enough when compared to everything else. And hay pellets, that is the same as well. So yeah, now we can do that. Also, the trigger for this as well as being improved. But yeah, perhaps help if you have the pipe out. So yeah, got a pipe out because yeah, before this was very finicky of where you had to be bang on the over the box net. See, so yeah, there we go. Not quite, yeah, bang on the middle, but. So, yep, getting that in. So, let's go and turn this on. So, yeah, as I mean, I think that's been improved, right? To straw ratios and that, and the wood chips. But, yeah, go to our productions, and you'll find this at the bottom over here. So, yeah, 42 grand for the pet heat plant. I'm pretty sure that was the same as before. Same with the pellet hole palletizer. But yeah, let's go into here. Ah, yeah, so let's go and test this crane. So, enter vehicle. So, yeah, rotate you. Open you, lower. Because, yeah, since I had issues with this many times on Court Farm as well, but. So yeah, like before, it had so many issues where the layers of speed in that, you'll get absolutely just lose your power in that. But yeah, we're going absolutely stupid with this, and yeah, safe to say it has been improved. So there we go. No, still got the emergency pack enabled. So yeah, that's been improved. But yeah, so the update to the pellet hornet. And if we go to our mods now. So yeah, a lot of it is relating to this, the Chrome Big Pack. There was like several issues with this. But yeah, let's go and test it. Use the bell collector in that. Let's see how this performs. Sorry, there we go, with the actual correct configuration this time for the bell shoot, so... Yeah, I'm going to test it with this pile straw I had over here. There we go. That's one bell. Two bells. And we'll get our third bell here. Okay, alright. Perhaps need to go over some of this a little bit more to get that fourth bell popping out. And actually, even over going that pile of straw there, that, yeah, that has significantly been improved. Whoa! Okay, alright. Okay. In fairness, that is a bit on me, that is, because I am being a bit stupid with this. Because, yeah, I'm literally going over a mountain of straw here, so, to be fair... So, yeah, let's try this again. So, there we go. That's that over there. I'm going to go with a little pile of straw over here. Yeah, this is a bit more of a realistic setting, so I'm bathing. Yep, yeah, see, it's actually not eaten at all. Sweet. So yeah, I think yeah, the overall D 
do love the update. Only thing I wish that changes is the speed of the palletizer. I mean, for future updates, that, that's the only thing I recommend or want is that. So yeah, you do get yeeted when you're unloading bells and that quite quickly, but again, to be fair, I am doing this a bit uh, a ship speed in that. But yeah, overall, update 1.1 to the Shore Harvest Pack by Crave Mesh. I am absolutely digging it. So yeah, I think that's where I will leave it, so park you there. Oh yeah, just looking at the change log in that, so... Yeah, fix some of the issues pro and pick a pack of that. The prices and that. Yeah, really, yeah, a lot of the issues that I had before of this, the... value of the pellets are now pretty much double here now, compared to everything else. Better triggers for the heat plant. Better grab for the pallets and that, so... Overall, absolutely digging it all. But yeah, so I may use this again in the future, and I may use this on my Comparing Countryside series, but... Yeah, the only thing I wish for in the future update is the speed of these, so... Apart from that... Um, yeah... Had a little bit of fun testing this, and yeah, no issues to be reported. Just yep, yeah, speed up the palletizer, or at least have a second building. Have your normal one here, then have like a unreal capacity one or unreal speed one, like where. Because I think once this is fully loaded, because this took me a while to get this all set up, it takes about twelve to fifty minutes to get four pallets. So you get your three pallets here. And then you fourth one over here. But yeah, overall, can't complain. So yeah, that is the updates to the emergency pack and the, emer the emergency pack and short harvest pack by Crave Mesh. If you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form, smash that button, fill the down below. If you will share with them, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider. But for you to do, Hope you're nice day, but for now, it's me from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.